Hey everyone, today we're gonna check out the Banff Gondola here in Banff, Alberta. You can see it back here. It goes all the way, way up the mountain there. We'll check that out. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Explorer. We bring you videos on travel, exploring, and discovery. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and check out the Banff Gondola. So it's a beautiful drive up to the Banff Gondola. It's about five kilometers. It should take you about 10 minutes along this beautiful scenic drive. Once you arrive, there is a lower parking lot as well as an upper parking lot that is free of charge to park in. Now we've been told that the parking lot does fill up, especially in the afternoon, but there is bus services and shuttles that run up here. Yeah, you can see we're gonna be going way up the mountain there. You can see the gondola is going up and down here. Now, if you are coming here, you can buy tickets when you get here, but to ensure you have a spot, it's probably better to purchase them online. We will put a link below in the description. You can check that out for yourself. Let's go inside. You can see through those doors straight ahead there, that's where you would go to get on the gondola once you have your tickets. And there's a full service Starbucks here as well. And check it out, they do have the Banff mugs. Now taking a quick peek into the store, you can see they have sweatshirts and the typical souvenirs that you can collect. And what I'm impressed about is there's a free water filling station right there. You can grab your mugs, you can grab ah, Rocky Mountain mugs, cool. You can grab crazy Canuck pins if you're a pin collector. Maybe you wanna cover your Volkswagen van with stickers, you can do that from here as well. And of course, Canadian maple syrup can see the prices there. All right, so there's a full Starbucks here at the Banff Gondola. It's the highest Starbucks in Canada, over 5,000 feet high. So we're quite high up here, but the prices are a fair bit higher than down in the city. Um, so a black coffee, two black coffees, these are Grande's Invente Cups was over $7 for two of them. So it's a fair bit more pricey than in town for your coffee here. The Starbucks mugs, they do have them here. They're $18.95. So um, again, those are more expensive up here than in the village as well. But they said they don't have any in the village. So um, if we're gonna grab one, we'll have to grab it here. We'll probably grab it on our way down from the gondola, but just keep that in mind if you're up here, this Starbucks is more expensive than the one in town. I think this is pretty close to perfection. The sun is out. I have my Starbucks coffee. I'm with the love of my life. And we're in the sunshine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I think children love this. So how many people do you think fit in here? Maybe four or five? Four. Four? I think there was uh, spots for four. Four. It's a lot smaller than the ones I've seen like at Big White in Kelowna or the ones you stand in mm -hmm. with your ski equipment. This is definitely one that you would sit down in. There's open windows too. Mm -hmm. That's good. Don't drop the camera. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. This is awesome, but it is actually a little bit warm in here. The windows are open. It's not like crazy hot, just a little warmer, but we dressed for like little cooler temps. So I'm feeling a little uh, stuffy. 
not sweaty, just stuffy. <laughs> well, we just drank hot coffee. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So once you get to the top of the gondola, there's an observation deck. There's also some other cool things here, like the Above Banff Interpretive Center, where you can learn about the Alpine ecosystem, as well as the history of Banff. You can also go and learn to tie some knots, which is fun for all of us to do, <laughs> and go stamp your Explorer Field Journal. You know, even if you came up here and the weather was bad, there is a lot to see and do up here. Yeah, no, that's for sure. Let's check out some of the views out on the observation deck. You can see right there, that's where the gondola comes up and there's views all the way to Banff. You can see the Bow River, the golf course down there and the sulfur boardwalk here that takes you up to the top of Sulphur Mountain there. We're gonna go check that out in just a little bit. This is spectacular up here at the Banff Gondola. It's so high up. There's magnificent 360 degree views up here. If you're in Banff, make sure to come check this out. It's awesome up here. I'm totally loving it. I could spend all day up here. There's beautiful little restaurants and bistros and shopping and yeah. walking and oh, it's just spectacular. You're not gonna wanna go home. They do have a couple of restaurants up here as well as they have another gift shop up here as well. So um, you can grab all your gifts while you're up here, the maple syrup, everything like that. You can grab it up here as well. So it looks like there's kind of a boardwalk trail right there that takes you to the top of that peak all the way up there. I think we're gonna go do that right now. So we need to go down a few flights of stairs down there and we'll head on all the way up there. So let's walk the Sulphur Mountain Boardwalk. This place is gorgeous. There's lots of information here and signage that you can read and learn all about Sulphur Mountain and Banff and it's a great photo stop. So if you want less people at the very top of the building, it was a lot quieter for taking pictures when we got down to like the main level, a lot of people taking pictures there. So go up to the very top to get the good photos and a lot quieter. There are lots of stairs here, so if you're coming with children, don't plan on using a stroller on the boardwalk. A lot of steps, and it's getting hot up here, so I took off my hoodie. I have something to say that's really good, though. There's no bugs. At least today. There's no mosquitoes, there's no flies. As one flies by here, but <laughs> for the most part, there's not really any bugs up here compared to Moraine Lake yesterday, so that's good news. The Sulphur Mountain Boardwalk sits at about 7,500 feet above sea level. And at the very end of it, you will see the Meteorological Observatory that was built in 1903, as well as the Sulphur Mountain Cosmic Ray Station from 1956. That's a mouthful. You can see the Trans-Canada Highway, Mount Norquay, Downtown Banff, the Bow River, as well as the golf course from up here. And you can see that building here on the right hand side. You can't go inside, but it is up here. You can also check out the binoculars for a mere $2. So it's about a 15 minute walk to the top and 15 minutes back to the gondola here on the boardwalk. So maybe budget about 45 minutes to do kind of the round trip. Um, there's a lot of stairs, so you might wanna take some breaks, bring a beverage up there. It's nice and beautiful with great views. We made it back to the gondola summit and lo and behold, there is a big horn sheep right beside the building. Wow, that's cool. We're gonna head on back down to the parking lot. It's easy to just jump back on the gondola and head all the way down there and we need to grab our Starbucks mug. We got our Starbucks mug. That was a ton of fun here at the Banff gondola. We're gonna head on into town and see what else we can find to do. So I hope you enjoyed visiting the Banff gondola with me today. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find 
all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.